Hi guys, my name is Jess. I work for Scriptural Visa Respiratory Department. I'm a respiratory therapist. And now, we're going to talk about the proper technique in the preparation of intubation using glidoscope. First of all, let's talk about the equipment that we're going to be needing on our intubation. First of all, we need an ambu bag. We need a proper sized ET tube for your patient. Already checked. And to check that, we need to use a 10 cc syringe. We need to have a silet. And we need to have a blade that we're going to use for intubation. And for glidoscope adult, we have two sizes for blades. We have number three for smaller um, person and then number four for a bigger frame. Next, of course, we're going to be using a Yonkor suction, a CO2 detector to confirm the placement of the tube. And to secure the tube, we need to have a holster and a pipe duct if needed. Now we have to grab a clean glidoscope. We have to make sure that the glidoscope plug is always plugged at all time so that it will be fully charged and ready for emergency. Now, we turn on your glidoscope using the on and off button. Press and hold until you see the picture. You have to make sure that we will have a picture here in order to make sure that the video is working. If not, then we can check on the knob on the back, make sure it's tight and intact. Now let's proceed to the preparation of equipment for intubation. Now we will grab our stylet, and as you can see, this stylet is specially made for the glidoscope. This is non-disposable, and after use, we need to make sure that we're gonna send it for sterilization in a sterilization department. Now let's take it out from the package and insert it to your ET tube. All the way in there, and make sure that we have a nice cup pressure for your ET tube put it back on the package ready for use now let's set up your blade I use the size 4 for blade we need to grab the video scope insert it inside the blade we have to make sure that we will insert it all the way in so that we can have a good visualization of your cord if it's slightly out, then you would have a visualization of the blade. Now, before we proceed to the actual intervention, we have to make sure that all the equipment is close to the patient and all within reach, so it's ready for use. So, step one, doctor my Edper glidoscope, hand it over to the doctor. While he's inserting the glidoscope, we can visualize it in the screen. We can hand them the suction if needed to. Then be ready for your tube. Hand it over to him. Now he will start inserting the tube in the patient. Now when he reaches the good placement, he will remove the glidoscope and I will remove the stylet and inflate the tube. The doctor will hold it. And of course, we will make sure that the proper securement of the tube by checking on the entitled CO2, misting the tube, and of course, auscultation for bilateral breath sound. Now, while somebody's holding your tube, grab your holister and stick it on the patient's face, and then wrap it around the head under the ear. This is the strap. And secure the proper tightness. And if the patient requires a bite block because the patient has teeth, then we grab a bite block, and stick, place it in the tube. Make sure that you won't, you won't lose the placement of the tube. Secure the holister first. Sticky and snap it. And then grab your bite block and tie it around the holister. So 
So after we finish the whole intubation, we have to grab the dirt equipment. Remember that we have to remove this blade and the glidoscope and toss this because it's disposable. And we have to cavity wipe the whole unit to make sure that it will be clean and ready to use for the next intubation. As for the stylet, as I say, this is non-disposable and it needs to be returned for sterile processing for the sterilization. Thank you for watching.